Do you ever feel that you have too much time on your hands? That your work day doesn't have enough work? That your to-do list is too small? That you don't have any deadlines? Well, if that's you, then you should stop watching right now because this video is not for you. If you're anything like me, sometimes you can get stressed out or overwhelmed. Sometimes I can get so stressed that I forget to be stoic, which is sad because that's what I preach. Allow me to share some tips that help me to cope with stress and hopefully they can help you out too. And if you're new, my name is Peter Paul and this channel is all about living a good and simple life period. And if you haven't already noticed, I like to give advice that I don't always follow, which would make me a hypocrite. With that being said, here are some stoic strategies to handle stress. Number one is to zoom out. Ask yourself, in five years, will this matter? And usually the answer is no. It's all about perspective. Zooming out allows us to see that this task is just a task. And in five years, it probably won't matter. So take a deep breath and get it done. Number two, the obstacle is the way. Sometimes the problem we're facing can be the solution. This week I asked myself, would I be as stressed out if I was organized? And the answer is no. The obstacle may not point us towards the solution we want, but it will point us towards the solution we need, if we look. Number three is deadlines are not deadly. Remind yourself that if you miss this deadline, you won't die. Want to know how many messages I get for missing a YouTube upload deadline? Zero, because no one cares. Some people care, but you get the point. So take a deep breath. It's just a deadline. Number four is to compare yourself. This is one of the few times where it's good to compare yourself. I usually like to use Elon Musk. He's running three big companies. He's got a family, kids, and still has time to be on the Joe Rogan podcast. If he can manage, I should be able to continue running my zero companies with zero kids and zero invitations to any podcast. Last is Marcus Aurelius. He had nagging health issues. Oh, and he was the emperor of Rome during a pandemic that killed about 10 million people and during a war. If he can manage the largest empire in the world at the time, I can manage my task for the day. Number five is to be present. Suffering always comes whenever we leave the present moment from worrying about the future, like a deadline to regretting something in the past. Here's a quick presencing technique that I like to use. You focus on five things you see in front of you, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Sometimes I skip number one. Number six, schedule stoicism. Knowing stoic philosophy is useless if you forget to use it. Don't be like this guy. Schedule time within your day to reflect, ponder, and chill. Number seven is to be kind to yourself. Remember that we all make mistakes. That is part of being human. Forgive yourself, take a break, and then try again when you're ready. There it is, seven stoic solutions to stress. To sum it up, they are zooming out to gain perspective, the obstacle is the way, deadlines are not deadly, compare yourself, be present, schedule stoicism, and be kind to yourself. So which strategies resonate with you? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Peter Paul, your favorite stoic hypocrite, and as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.